poking at the screen like this. <laughs> Good morning. It's been a while since we opened up this way and what a beautiful morning it is. I'm headed over to Lake Ray Roberts where we're going to support your park weekend. And I'm while I'm out there, I am going to be finishing that um, Poseidon vertical antenna build and I am going to be cutting the line to 25 feet and uh, we're just going to be putting it to the test and while we're out there. We're just going to be hanging out having some fun. Also, I would like to quickly point out while you're on the road, go ahead and search for Tank and Radio in any podcast or app you have, and you'll find an audio podcast by me, Tank Radio. And there is an audio podcast per week, and uh, two of them by month are not on YouTube, so you gotta go ahead and check it out and see what there is. And because it's my channel, look, there's UNT, my alma mater. <laughs> so let's get on the road. Oh, I'm already on the road. Let's get out there. Good! All right, I already did that part. We're over here at Lake Bray Roberts, the North End this time, and I am just gonna be getting a quick couple shots here of the beautiful sunrise and the lakeshore we have here. But we're gonna be setting up for a POTA Support Your Park weekend, and we're gonna be having some fun. And before it all gets kicked off, I am gonna be setting up the Poseidon and cutting it to length. I am, I also just looked up the instructions so I don't go off of memory, cause you know, we forget things. Especially I built it a month ago. We're gonna be cutting it to 25 feet, four inches. The four inches is for the loop back on the end. So um, you have a little loop to hang it up in the um, mass that you have here. And I'm gonna be using this um, surveying tech measure to uh, measure out the 25 feet because it goes up to 200 feet, 60 meters. And I bought this so um, it's a metric and freedom units tape measure so I can measure any antenna element I want and I don't have to worry about running out of feet or meters. <laughs> but this is awesome. Links for everything I'm going to be showing today are going to be in the pop-up or um, in the description below. But I love this thing. So 25 feet, 4 inches. Here we go. 7-ish, 10-ish, 16-ish. 20-ish, 22, 24, 25. All right, 25 feet, four inches. Ah, it cut. I'm gonna say good on the coffee and ham radio, guys. There's not much of this wire left with the uh, radials that we cut the last time. I think four 17-foot sections, then one 25-foot section, and there's not much left. So good use of materials. And I really, really do like this BN Tech Go wire. Great wire. Before we go ahead and finish uh, putting this up, we need to take a quick pause and talk about mass. The mass that you use on your vertical antenna is very important because if we use this uh, POTA 20, even though this POTA 20 uh, is not going to be able to get Poseidon antenna all the way up in the air, it's too short, but it's also the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber interacts with the um, antenna and it actually resonates a little and it will cause interference when you're transmitting and I'm poking at the screen like this. <laughs> so we do not want a carbon fiber mast or a metal mast or anything that that is conductive. So for this activation, I'm gonna be using DX Commander Expedition Mass. This mass is taller than my other POTA 20, plus it has a lid already on it, ha <laughs> ha. But its elements are this something that's not already conductive, so that will make this is perfect for us to uh, activate. It's probably a plastic polymer resin thing. I don't know what it is. We'll probably should ask Colum. But I already have it all geared up and ready to go. So I am gonna go ahead and set it up and show you how easy this is. Plus, I'm gonna be using some roller cams. Yeah. All right, I have everything guided in. Let me just show you how easy using these roller cams are. Oh, I'm just tightening it up right now. Minus my shoe. Look at that, one-handed. Perfect. Tighten this guy up. And, oh, uh, there it goes. And finally, for the other one. Look, it's already standing up. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh man, 
I forgot to get the uh, mast out. You might have noticed these are not exactly at a triangle. I have it wedged pointing into the wind, so I have supports on two sides and not just one anchoring it, and the last one's pointed into the wind. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about now, I got the uh, Poseidon antenna threaded into the carabiner. We're just gonna put it at the top, voila. Let's raise the mast, yeah, and here we go. That's all the wire right there. So we want this sticking straight up, so probably drop it one more. Yeah, I like that. Now I got the mast all the way in the air. I think it's smart to take the uh, assembly part and I'm gonna just take the Velcro and the Velcro to my mast so the um, antenna assembly is off the ground and not getting dirty. I think that's smart, but probably someone in the comments will correct me. <laughs> and now, 17 feet in all four directions. Here's coming at you, kid. Ta-da! It's a thing! I made a thing! We're gonna go ahead and get on the radio and see how it works, yeah! All right, we got the radio on, and it's sounding beautifully staticky. And I'm gonna try to place on some 10 meters at first. I got Hammer's log going. I can't wait to be activated. We're gonna be activating Park US 3051, 3051. And of course, I got my tank pad with me. My tank pad is awesome and amazing. All the US band plans in a nice little mounts pad and they don't have to roll it up or anything. It fits perfectly on top of your radio in the Explorer backpack. Love it, love it, love it. Uh-oh. It tunes to infinity. Hmm. Well, I got the rake stick. We're gonna figure this out. There's the problem. The coax is not on. Oops, sometimes we do that. Everything's set up nice and beautifully. Love it. At 10 meters, we're a 1.3, which is beautiful. 20, we're a little high, a 4.9. Interesting, and let's go ahead and go to 40. That's nice on 40, we're a 2.8, beautiful. On 20, that could be because I don't have the four inches looped back quite correctly as they showed it in the um, diagram because I forgot zip ties. So I'm gonna forgive that, but I really wanted to play on 10 meters and 40 meters might be fun too. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Well, that's it, we are wrapping up now. Uh, we got trick-or-treaters behind us. <laughs> um, the new antenna worked great. I made uh, contacts literally, literally all over the world, and it was awesome. I got about 40 contacts with that. Jason sat down at the radio and got another 50 cells, so 100 contacts, 100 watts. It worked awesomely. Only gripe on it is this strap, this strap Velcro fall out. I couldn't get it or use it after the first time. Other than that, that's not a thing I am going to poo-poo on. Um, just, just letting you know. Well, that's it, fellas. We had amazing activation here. We're just packing up all over here. And uh, as always, gentlemen, go forth and conquer. Um, we're gonna be cutting it to 25 and four feet. The four feet is for the loop. Turn, you wanna turn. Not saying much, but most of the video is right here. You ready? <laughs> that was it. Carbon fiber, as I drop it on the ground. I need to put that top on somehow. I haven't figured it out yet. Keep doing that. I went ahead and put it all the way up. I didn't get any of the elements out. And now I can't get 